Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Eric Rim. Uh, I'm on the faculty at the Harvard School of Public Health and the Harvard Medical School. I'm the director of cardiovascular epidemiology at the School of Public Health. And I'm excited today to present our new results that were in part led by my doctoral student, Dr. Shan Chan Lee, and several of the other co-authors listed here. We had an interest in trying to understand the uh, best diets for reducing overall mortality among individuals who've already had an MI. We know worldwide that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of mortality. Yet, in many countries, the mortality rates from cardiovascular disease have gone down, but the overall incidence of MI has stayed relatively flat, which means that there's more people alive that have survived a myocardial infarction. So the question is, what advice can we give to them? What, what do we know about prevention among individuals who've already had an MI. For the last over three decades, we've been following this group of over 170,000 men and women to track their diet and lifestyle to predict their risk of incident chronic disease. We now have the exciting opportunity because we've documented over 4,000 new incident MIs to be able to understand which diet and lifestyle factors predict survival among those men and women that have already had an MI. And in addition, because this is a long-term prospective study, we're able to look at their diet and lifestyle before they had their MI to see how they changed and to see how that changed predicted their longevity post-MI. And what we found is that among the 4,000 people that were in our study, after several decades of follow-up, we had over 1,000 of them that actually died uh, from many different causes and we grouped people into their fiber intake after they had their first MI. And what we found is that men and women in the top 20% of fiber intake had about a 25% lower risk of overall mortality compared to the men and women in the lowest uh, quintile or the lowest 20% of dietary fiber. For us, this is a relatively simple message that should be given to nutritionists or to cardiologists. Post MI, patients should be told to increase their fiber intake and specifically, the fibers that we found most beneficial were those from cereals and grains. That while we found fruits and vegetables had benefit, there, there was a significantly lower risk uh, among those that had the highest intakes of cereal and grains in their diet. Yeah, I think the most important thing to tell a patient is, um, is that there's something they can do as an individual. That while we do hope that people take uh, their, the best medications that science has uh, provided for them to lower their subsequent risk. And there's many, many clinical trials done on medications. So people should stick to the medications, but not think that that's enough. Because what we found is you can do so much more. And not only does it make you feel better, but it actually it really substantially lowers your risk of overall mortality and can in increase longevity by years. So simple changes to the diet, whole grains, uh, uh, high cereal fibers, fruits, vegetables, um, healthy types of fat, mono and polyunsaturated fats, all of those types of dietary advice really give someone control. So take control of your own life and don't just leave it up to chance or leave it up to just the, the medical therapies, that this really should be a, a comprehensive therapy for reducing mortality and increasing longevity.